after 65 cruises, today was the first day I've ever felt violated on a cruise ship. What's going on? My name's Jared. Jordan is out booking your cruises and he's not in this video because what happened did not actually happen to him. It only happened to me. Today's topic is a little different than usual uh, and you know us. We're JJ Cruz. We are all about positivity. We're all about things that are fantastic and fun about cruises. Even though we have some harsh critiques sometimes, at the end of the day, we are very positive people. But what I have to talk to you about today was a little bit of a different tone. Before I get into what happened, I just wanna say and state for everyone out there that you don't know me. You don't know everything about me. I am one of the most open and very unoffended people out there. Anyone that knows me well knows that I can take a lot. And I know we are public figures. We are in the cruise space as public figures. So when we got on a cruise ship, people know us. I am not oblivious to this. I know that. And I am fine with a lot. In fact, I'm one of those people that if you go and have to get a second body search at TSA, I don't get offended or feel violated. Uh, I'm fine with that. I understand their job and there's no problem with it. I'm also the type that if you come up to me on a cruise ship and without asking me, put your arm around me or uh, give me a hug or anything like that, that's not offensive to me. I don't care. And <laughs> that is not something that I'm going to be talking about today. I'm very open. Same thing if you say something and it didn't come across the way you intended to, I don't get offended by things very easily. Uh, but what happened today is the first time that I think maybe even in my life that I've ever felt a sense of violation of my privacy and violated, truly violated, maybe ever, but for sure on a cruise ship. After 65 cruises, we've cruised in all types of cabins, all types of cruise lines. Uh, and so what I'm going to talk about today actually can apply to many different cruise ships, many different cruise lines. And that's why I'm not going to kind of focus on where it happened or why it happened. I think it's just good to talk about what happened and say that's not okay, that it's something that should never happen again and hopefully doesn't, but can happen very easily on a lot of cruise ships, especially some of the newer ships out today. So let me just get into what happened and why I'm here talking to you about this today. It's a little weird to talk about because it's something that is personal and does feel very icky. I think that's the best way to say it for anyone that has felt violated. You can probably understand where I'm coming from without ever feeling this violation. You don't feel what that person feels. And today I understand fully people that do get violated and feel violated what they're feeling. So to bring it to the very beginning, I got up in bed. I am someone not trying to get too much information, but I am not always fully clothed when I sleep. It was a C day. And so I was, well, obviously waking up and going straight into work. That's what I do. I'm a travel agent. I also of course have access to YouTube channel and social media, but I was up booking cruises and just sitting up in bed, kind of getting some initial emails out of the way. When I look to the balcony and we do have a veranda on this cruise, this cruise balcony is a large balcony and the way that's situated is that even though our neighbors have a full strip of panels at the very end, close to the edge where the railing is, the panels kind of do like this. So it's a little bit more of a diagonal. When you go up to the railing, if you look left, you look right, you will see your neighbors there at the railing as well, or maybe even sitting close to the railing. It's that open of a space right at the railing. However, you cannot see inside staterooms unless you are trying to do so. I want to make it clear. You cannot K 
cannot see inside a stateroom unless you are trying to do so. So I'm in bed, partially clothed, look over to the balcony just to look at the wake, look at the sea because it's beautiful and that's part of the reason I love cruising. And I look up and notice that my neighbor is full head around that little panel that's like this, so almost like this, all the way around and staring into my cabin. What makes it worse is he wasn't just staring into the cabin, he was staring directly at me, only in my underwear. And when I stared directly back at him, he did not move. This felt so weird and icky and just gross because I don't know my neighbor. I've never met him. This is not something like we go and are living in a home that we meet our neighbors and have lunch with or have a barbecue. No, I don't know my neighbor. I've never met him. The fact that he was just staring directly at me, he had no reaction. He wasn't going to move his head around and be act like he wasn't looking at me. He stared at me for five seconds straight, just staring straight at me and straight into my eyes. Well, let me hope that was my eyes at the end of the day. And then when he moved around that diagonal, he moved just regular pace, like nothing happened. I was kind of flabbergasted by this. I don't even know if that's the right word. I feel like I was taken so aback by it that I let Jordan know right away what happened. I told him, I was like, I don't know what just happened. I don't know how to react to this, but I feel really bad. I feel like I was violated. Jordan brought up some good points. We don't know our neighbor at all. We have no idea. There might be something extra there. Maybe there is some kind of mental awareness that we aren't aware of for his mental state to where we have no clue. Maybe he couldn't see inside. Maybe for some reason the sun was glaring in, which is really hard by the way, and I don't believe that was the case because right now I'm even looking out into the balcony and it's fully shaded. So I don't think any of that is likely, but I think Jordan was trying to help me feel better about the situation that maybe he didn't even see I was inside. Maybe he was too blind to see it or not able to see anything. Like whatever you might want to say, Jordan was just trying to make me feel better about it because I was trying to figure out if I should even talk to guest services or security about it because it just felt so wrong. It felt like I was just violated from a peeping Tom. So we didn't do anything about it. I did tell Jordan, I said, I want to note that if it happens again, I will do something because now it's becoming a constant issue. But I decided I'm a public figure. I wanted to make, take it all in on me and not make the rest of this cruise about it. And luckily so far, there has not been anything that's happened. We still have a few days left this cruise. If anything happens, I will take action. But I want to share it all with you because I want to say first, don't do this. It's not okay. It makes me feel icky. Like I said, we're so positive of people. And you obviously can tell that I have a different tone to my voice than usual because I feel so not good about it. On that note, there are a lot of cabins out there that do stare right into another cabin. You have Central Park balconies on the Oasis class for Royal Caribbean. MSC has similar type of staterooms that look straight into it. Now, there's a lot of distance. It is not the exact same as looking around a veranda to stare at somebody half clothed or partially clothed. I wasn't even half. But it is possible to see into staterooms without even trying. So let me ask you all, is this something that maybe is more normal than I know of? Is this something that like I am just feeling off about for no reason? What are your thoughts on these types of staterooms? Do you book these types of staterooms and have you ever had a problem with this type of interaction? Obviously, I don't feel great about it, but I want to just know from you all, what are your thoughts? Is this something that I should be even concerned about? Or should I kind of take the place of what Jordan said to me of like, just give the benefit of the doubt this first time, and if it happens again, we'll take action. Let me know in the comments below. Um, obviously, 
this video is very different than any videos that we do on this channel, uh, but it is all cruise content. So if you are someone who are, is not subscribed, please do so. But it feels a little weird to even say that because this video is not what we talk about on our channel, besides that it's on a cruise ship. Uh, and we love cruising and it's taken 65 cruises for anything like this to happen to us, to me. I look forward to reading your comments and hopefully get a good dialogue of what's acceptable and what's not on a cruise ship. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.